You're watching Tag Facts, a short introduction to spiral conveying technology. Welcome to one of the in-depth videos about multi-chain options for spiral conveyors. If you haven't seen the general video yet, or would like to check out one of the other in-depth videos about this subject, you can choose one at the end or find them in the description below. In this video, we'll talk about the possibility of creating more compact white belt machines by adding more chains. Although this may sound counterintuitive, it enables us to make a seamless white belt while keeping the footprint small. With a side flex in spiral belt, just like conventional belt, there's always a ratio between the belt width and inner radius based on the collapsing factor. For mat belt, this is usually around two, and for proper spiral slab belt, at least one. So a spiral belt with a width of 300 millimeters has an inner radius of 300 millimeters and a center line diameter of 900 millimeters. A belt width of say 900 millimeters would therefore have a center line diameter of 2700 millimeters or an outer diameter of 3.6 meters, which results in a footprint of 13 square meters, which is far too large for most applications. Due to the multi-chain principle, this can be done in a much more compact way. The track consists, for example, of 300 plus 600 belt seamlessly next to each other. 300 belt has an outer diameter of 1200 millimeters with a 600 belt next to it. A total belt width of 900 is achieved with a diameter of only 2400 millimeters, a one-third smaller diameter, or only 45% of the required floor space compared to the single chain option. When space is an issue, adding more chains is the way to go. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.